Let's talk AI video. I wanted to make a movie trailer for a movie that's never gonna come out. <laughs> and some AI tools are made much better than others, but I'm very glad to have found one free AI video generation tool that does the job really, really well. I'd like to show you the trailer now so you know what to expect. Then I'll show you the tool how I made the trailer, and also three more kind of trailers that I generated with this tool. In an uncharted corner of the universe, a discovery that challenges everything we know. But some secrets should never be unearthed. This summer, humanity must stand together or face extinction. So that was pretty cool, wasn't it? Of course, there were some uh, video editing done to it and there was music. I'll show you how I did all of that. But first, let's talk about the tool. It's called Hyper or Haper. It's a relatively new tool. It's currently free. They might introduce a plan in the future. I have no idea, but probably. And it's making some really awesome videos. So welcome to Vision to Hyper Reality. You can try it for free by just creating creating an account with Google or Discord. Then you will be taken to the Hyper Explore page where you'll be able to see a bunch of incredible generations by other creators. We have some hands with a globe, person taking photo of a dragon, a girl in the rain. What I really like is that on the right side, you can see the prompt, the seed, when it was created, or if it was done from an image, you can see that as well, which is pretty interesting, like with this case. And as you can see, these are pretty great. Of course, on the Explore page, you have the best of the best. Um, a lot of generations didn't work out, as you will see later. But nevertheless, I think this is pretty incredible. So you can like it to save it to your favorites. So you can look back at them later, maybe study the prompts or get some creative ideas from these generations generations. On the left menu, the explore page, then the creations page, which is where you will create. It's kind of like a feed for all of your future creations. We have the favorite where you save your favorites in your profile. Below that though, we also have the get started button where you can learn a little bit more about this tool and how to use it. It's not necessary to read, but there are a few interesting things. Like for example, the generations that don't have HD in the title, they are 720p and they can go up to four seconds long, but the generations with the HD can go only up to two seconds long for now. We'll see how that goes later. You can also learn about the animating with your image, repainting your video, which I think is not available just yet, but they're showing the potential of what it's going to be and a lot of other interesting things you can scroll through. Links are in the description for everything that I'm mentioning in this video. So at the top, you can select how you want to make your generation just with tags or with your image or without the HD, which is like the four second long ones. And at the bottom, there's a bar that you can start generating with. Also, this button lets you select which mode you're in. And at the top, you also have some stylization, old film, watercolor, cyberpunk, and so on. These are just some words that create a specific style that you can go for, but you can also create your own, you know, in a way by uh, reusing the same sort of words as I will be playing with that later. In the settings, you have the option to choose your seed, the motion level, how much motion you want in it, and the duration two or four seconds, but that depends on the mode. There's also the icon of eye cross, like are other people going to be able to see your generation? If you don't want to, you can select it there. And then we just type in our prompt and hit create. For the purposes of this video, I'll speed it up, but at first you're set in a queue, so you have to wait a little bit. And the queue for me took one minute and 30 two seconds, but I guess it will depend on how many people are using the tool at the same time as you. And then the actual generation of a two second clip took one minute. So that's something you should keep in mind. And this was the generation. And I was really disappointed because on the explore page, you have these beautiful generations. So I couldn't figure out what was wrong with it. So I kept trying and I actually set up a lot of different generations. You can do it after every 15 seconds and then just wait for all of them to generate, which is pretty cool you know, you don't have to like wait for each one. You can prepare for the future. So I did a bunch of them and here are some generations and these do not look good, but don't worry. Like, I think I kind of figured it out. So this is um, the guy crying.
crying and it doesn't look good. You know, it looks pretty weird. But then I did the same exact prompt, the same seed, everything the same, but using the HD model. And honestly, the results were a hundred times better. I don't care for the extra two seconds in this case because the results were just that much better. And so when we compare the dancing couple on the regular model versus HD model, both of them are free. Like, don't worry about that. We can see a huge difference. And the same with the painter guy. Like, the difference is just insane. So I suggest just going with the HD model if you can. All right. So now that I figured out the generations are good, I just wasn't doing it properly since the beginning. I uh, began also dropping in some images. And so you just upload your image and drop in the prompt that, where you want to move or like description of it. And then you have your generation. So here are some examples that I actually kind of really like it. You know, there's the flame and it looks very realistic. It looks very cool, like an actual shot from a movie. I love that. Now we have this image and it's from my Laura training. You can check out the video if you want to train your own Laura. But we did Mr. Beast and I decided to try to do like smile. Mr. Beast and there you go it looks pretty cool I think this one was amazing too we have a dragon kind of moving in and there's snow and colors very cool then this girl awesome we have ribbons and her eyes are moving the expressions there panda is turning his head and that looks insanely cool like I'm in love with this one we have an anime girl in a sunflower field very slow movement but very cool then this one's super cool too. We have a bubble going down the bar of soap. Looks amazing. With this shot, we see that it creates something extra than what is just in the image, but that's very cool too. The dragon and the girl are moving very slowly. It's the kind of interesting uh, animation here. Fire. Oh, I love this one. Look how the fire disappears into the background. I just love it. Not all generations were great. We have the walking one that kind of failed or the blinking eye. That was super weird too. But most of them were good, which is more than I can say for a lot of things uh, when it comes to AI. So then I decided to make a few videos with the help of ChatGPT. You know, I wanted to make like a storyline and use Hyper to create the video for it. So I went to ChatGPT and asked it, I want to make a little movie reel on some fantastical topic. Make it into a story. Please give me ideas of shots like a storyboard without words and each shot is only two seconds long. Give me a list of 10. And so I, without even reading it or doing whatever to the text, I just decided to go and place it into Hyper and see how it goes. The only thing is I added the arcane style from the top options because I wanted the style to be consistent for this story. And so I just queued a bunch of them and repeated the process again and again, 10 times and was waiting for the generations. It took a little bit of time, but that was really fun. So here is the result. As you can see on the screen, the size of the video is smaller than what you're watching right now, but not to worry. I actually played a little bit more with it. So these were the generations. This was the story, like there's portals and crystals and stars and whatnot. Very cool chat GPT. Then I scaled it up, added sharpening and color correction in Premiere Pro, which is the software I use to create these videos for you guys. This is the result. So it's the same videos, just a little bit of human work done on top of it. So I actually did two more that I'll just show you right away as I edited them. By the way, this edits took me like five minutes tops, you know, super simple. Anybody can do this stuff. And I did one more like nostalgic, dark kind of vibe, you know, so here, here it is.
Now this one's interesting because it's more realistic. You can really see the slow motion in some of them and they look like footage taken from a stock footage marketplace. They look realistic, they look awesome and I'm really glad for most of them you can't tell their AI and I think that's just absolutely insane. And then for the final one before I did the trailer that I showed you, I also did one where I wanted to do like an old film where AI is taking over 1800s Britain, okay? So we have Victorian era and I did the same thing. I asked ChatGPT for some shots and then I put them in Hyper and I just used the old film filter from Hyper. A little bit of editing later and here we have it. So I don't know what you think, but I absolutely loved it. I think a lot of the shots are super amazing. The ones with the robots, you know, everything. Like there are some weird messed up faces for sure. Like in this shot, I added the black bars over their eyes because they just did not work. But other than that, a lot of these shots are just insanely awesome and they look amazing. I'm just so impressed with how it turned out. Now, as for the trailer, I promised to show you how I did it, like the actual process. So here we have it. I went to ChatGPT and I said, I'd like to create a 10 second cinematic teaser trailer for an upcoming sci-fi movie. Each shot is two seconds long. Please provide uh, me with textual visual description of each five shots as well as the cinematic epic voiceover that should be in the trailer. So then we have Chad GPT giving me five shots, giving me the voiceover. Unfortunately, at the end of the day, the voiceover was longer, 14 seconds, not 10 seconds. So I had to create two more shots. But other than that, it was like really fast to do. And I used 11 labs to create the voiceover that you heard. And then for the videos, I just copy pasted the shots that Chad GPT created. But at at the end for each shot, I added 8K cinematic movie vibrant and sci-fi. I was hoping that that would keep the style kind of similar from one to the next. And after a bunch of generations, I just dropped in the audio here. You can see the Premiere Pro, the software that I'm using, but you can really use anything. Then I just dropped in all the footage. Then I created two more shots so I can fill it in. You can see how I was editing this footage also, like it's all there. I was working at it at the same time. And then I was just playing around with how I want to position them and then cut up some of the audio as well. And finally, I looked for music. There's this free place called Creator Mix. I found a song there that it was free. You know, I added some volume adjustment to it and that was it. I had so much fun. Not even kidding you. This was such a fun project. I can't wait to play with more AI video. I can't wait to see where it goes. It's insane that whatever's in your head, you can now have a footage off that looks either realistic or cartoony or whatever it is, whatever you want. And most of them now look good. It's an insane improvement from before. Can't wait to see where it goes. And hey, if you are still watching, thank you so much. Maybe check out one of these next and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.